Hi everyone, Stacy J here with my second entry to Tis the Season to Hop uh, Blog Hop. And it's hosted by Miss Elsa. Hi Elsa. Um, and she is Just a Few Designs on YouTube as well as Just a Few Designs blog, blogspot.com. And um, like I said, this is my second entry, so let me show you. This is my um, vintage Christmas treasure chest. And I love this box now. I love my treasure chest. It did not start out as a piece that anybody would want. But of course, as a crafter, we see all the hidden secrets and treasures and potential in something that's really raggedy. <laughs> so, um, I found this raw wooden box um, at a rummage sale and the latch was broken off of it. Uh, well, one part of the latch was broken. There was a hole. Um, it didn't have any feet. Um, the inside was pretty smooth, so I didn't have a hard time trying to um, do anything to the inside. It was just the outside that was kind of rugged. So what I did is I um, used some gesso on it to prime it. Then I used some of my paint daubers. I believe it was, there was a couple of green colors that I, oh, I have them here. Let's see. Lettuce. A little bit of espresso. And this one is Willow. So I used those colors after the gesso dried, I allowed the paint to dry. And then I used um, Tim Holtz Distressed Crackle Paint. This is the picket fence. I used that all over, um, allowed that to dry. I used my um, heat gun, of course, to assist in the drying process. Then after I did all that, um, and the crackle paint was the way that I wanted it, I took my blending tool that I use for my um, rub and buff, and I use gold leaf rub and buff on all the edges, and um, I have a, a sponge, a blending sponge that's dedicated just for um, my rub and buff. And it makes it a whole lot easier. But these are Tim Holtz. Um, his feet, the like the curio cabinet type feet, and they only come in that. Um, I guess it's like a pewter color. So I use a little bit of my um, rub and buff on them, and allowed them to dry, and they came out really nice. You can see that. And that's one of his frames and inside of there I stamped in gold it says joy there's a little bit of distress around there as well and that is a um, the paper is called sweet leaf and it's close to my hearts um, paper and their stamp one of their Christmas stamps so now on top here Oh, I think I also, as far as the finish goes, I also did a, um, a little misting. So after I, I used my um, rub and buff and allowed it to dry a little bit, I used uh, a little bit of my mist, glimmer mist, the tattered angels, and um, you know, and some of the coordinating colors and then wiped it off you know so it's not so stark I didn't want it I didn't want anything overpowering now on top we have let me put this down on top we have um, these are some flowers that I found years ago in Michaels and I was going through my basement trying to sort through some things that we were going to get rid of um, over the summer 
and realized that I had a ton of craft stuff down there that I used to use when I did my um, flower arrangements and some different decorating for our church and um, came across I'm like oh I could use these for scrapbooking so that's what these are these are um, just some old rose I think they're like bud bud roses came in a small bunch and that's a really pretty one it looks like a mulberry flower and I used a little bit of uh, glitter snow to um, give it that effect like that frosted and um, wintery snow snowy effect this piece right here is a piece of trim that I made um, I made it first and I actually I do them in strips 12 inch strips I'm gonna have those available on my blog but um, that's what this is you can see that yeah, with some ivory flat back pearls now inside is the treasure I just did a little um, paint daubering on the inside painted it all a little um, blending of the colors used a little bit of my rub and buff inside and the matching gift in here is this picture frame and the picture frame pretty much is a wooden um, it's a raw wooden picture frame that I got from Ikea a long time ago but um, there's like a, a little artificial I don't know if they're called um, putting or uh, winter pears or it's it's got that winter look I don't know what it's called but it was um, it's part of the Christmas decoration and I made <coughs> the um, stick pin if you can see that And those little tiny flowers um, everything is lightly dusted with the snow glitter and there's that trim that coordinating trim and I did um, the same technique painting technique on this as well um, the only thing I didn't use is the espresso on this particular frame I just did the um, the lettuce on the background and then I did the uh, distress crackle paint and then over that is the rub and buff let's see and I love how my projects came out they came out really good and this is the inside of the box I just lined it with some material, some um, iridescent chiffon, or it might be organza, with that same trim that I made. And that is my second entry to the blog hop, Tis the Season to Hop. I hope you enjoyed that. I really had a good time making this. Um, I'm not a shabby chic or vintagey type person. I like the items, but I don't typically make them. But um, I really had a good time making this, and it's going to be hard trying to find that special person to give this to um, that's going to appreciate it. You all know what I'm talking about. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go to Michelle's blog next. Her link is um, on the posting. And enjoy the rest of the hop today. See you tomorrow. Happy creating.